We're delighted to be joined in studio by Ian Barraclough, who led Slagger over to that memorable title win last season. Before we talk about that, Ian, uh, you had a few months uh, in charge at Scunthorpe before you got the Slagger Rovers job. So really, that was the first one where you could really get your teeth into it as a football manager. And was there anything about being a football manager that surprised you in the job? No, I think the amount of hours that you have to go and put in, there isn't enough, basically. Um, and that's seven days a week. Uh, so it's, it's really important you have the right people around you as well that can uh, take some of the load from you. And I suppose that seven months at Scunthorpe really did. It was an eye-opener, for sure. Yeah. But, um, you know, I knew coming over here, I was ready. And how difficult was it coming over to the Electricity League? And, and what was your, your knowledge of the league prior to your appointment? I think that was the biggest thing. The, the knowledge of the players, the clubs, where you were going to go, um, how it was taken in this, the, the domestic league was, was taken in this, uh, in this country and, yeah. and, and just you had to learn, learn fast, you know, speak to as many people as possible. And, uh, you know, we had a good squad, we had a, uh, which needed adding to, which we did, but um, we were organised. They were willing to learn and, and, and they, were, they were hungry. Yeah, um, it, it must have been tricky enough coming in because, I mean, they had experienced success, particularly in the FAI Cup, two back-to-back two -back, uh, Cup successes. And then to go on a league run and the, the, the hopes of the, the fans started getting up throughout the season. I mean, did you think, yeah, the league title is on here for us this season? I, I always kept quietly about it because it was, a, it was one of those things that, that they'll fall away. They'll fall away. We were being yeah, told. Yeah. People, even people in the town were were sceptical that we could see it through. Um, and being top for, for so long was, a, you know, could have been a problem to the boys, but fair play. They, uh, they rose to the challenge each week. It, it was game by game. Uh, and and we, we attacked those games in the right manner. And, um, and, and eventually, one by one, saw our, our competitors off. But, um, you know, there was a lot of hard work. There was a lot of, mm. uh, a lot of stuff that people don't realise you know, some of the sacrifices that are made um, are immense and, and, you know, it had to be done to win a league title. From a personal point of view, I mean, you had a long career, over 600 league appearances across the water, but from a personal point of view as a manager, it's uh, very nice for your CV to have your first full season with a club and go and win the league title. Yeah, um, again, it's, it's one of the things, you, 600 games stand you in good stead. Mm. certain amount of experience, but then you're the manager, you're making decisions. Yeah. You're the one that's uh, sending them fellas out making sure during the week the preparation's right and, and when they walk over the white line you can't do a thing about it apart from at, at half time for 15 minutes and uh, it's a, a totally different experience, one that I'm, I'm enjoying, I do enjoy it and, and you know, hopefully it'll be going for a, a lot longer but um, that first year was, was I suppose one of those things, fairy tale stuff uh, and, and you have to go and build on that. Yeah, and they do say, Ian, and I don't know how true it is, uh, that it's more difficult to retain the title than it is to win the first one, but I'm sure it's equally as difficult to win that first one. I mean, how have you found this second season in charge? Yeah, I, I looked at the history books. You know, it's been retained once or twice, maybe more, four or five, and, and you know, and, and I know the financial constraints as well in the, the last 10 or 15 years, and, and that's had an effect. So clubs have gone and won the league title, uh, maybe gone and retained it, but then have found financial uh, problems there and, and, and it's really important that a club like ours we do things the right way we don't overstretch the budget and um, you know if that's to the detriment of adding another one to the squad then we, we have to do that and that, that's a way of a way of working because it's, it's important that that club is still here long gone after, after, after I've gone you know. Yeah at the start of the season Slagger Rovers flew out of the blocks but you remained pretty level-headed about it all because I remember quite a few of the after-match interviews and you were quite realistic about the performance levels and you weren't totally happy with them and you received some criticism as a result but I suppose when we look back forensically at those early fixtures I mean we can look at it now the way the league has panned out they were mm. probably the easier fixtures and I suppose the reality by sort of bitter a little bit when, when you lost yeah. to St Pat's. Yeah I think you, you, know, you have a start like that expectation levels do rise. Yeah. I think people start to think that, well, it's, they're going to run away with it. It was never going to happen. Uh, there was five or six clubs early on that, that had realistic chance of winning the league. And, and, you know, it was a much closer league than it was last year. So, you know, getting a good start as we did was great, but um, it was important we, we went and built on it. Uh, and, and I think clubs start to raise their game and, and they come to the showground. It's a lovely pitch. It's a great environment to go and play football. Yeah. And, you know, you've got to be able to go and deal with that. And, and we haven't been as clinical, I don't think, um, in certain games. We haven't put teams to the sword. And, and that's 
that's come back to bite us in certain certain games. Yeah, uh, I asked this question of Stephen Kenny when when he was in with us uh, and when Dundalk became contenders for the league title, and I said to him, I said, "Can you win the league?" And I'm asking you the same question: Can Sligo Rovers still win the league? We can definitely win the league. Of course we can. You know, we we can go into next weekend level points with Dundalk, and and you know it's after you know at the end of next weekend, and it's the way it changes, the way people react. We're human beings. You know, stress levels start to rise. How do you react? Do you thrive on it or do you go small? And, and you know, that's what Dundalk have just gone top um, and questions will be asked now. Almost two full seasons in the Air Tristy League, Ian. I get the impression you have enjoyed it. I've loved it. Yeah, yeah of course I have. Yeah. Listen, I'm, I'm involved in the greatest sport in the world and some people might uh, knock me for that, but I am. I'm doing a, uh, it's my job, but it's my hobby. I love it. It's a passion. That'll never go away. And, and you know, to do something different would be uh, would would kill me. But um, yeah, there are certain lonely times. Family's back in England, mm -hmm. and you you know you you have to go and work. You have to go and do it. You have to go and earn the money, and and doing something that I love doing. Okay, well, Ian, great to see you. We appreciate you coming up and joining us on the program tonight. Thank you. Continued continued success with Sligo.